Hi, welcome to this example on finding the mean and variance of a continuous random variable. Now what I've got here is an example. A continuous random variable x has a probability density function f of x given by f of x equals 3 quarters of 1 minus x times x minus 3 where x is between 1 and 3 inclusive and it's 0 otherwise. And we've got to find the mean e of x and the variance var x. OK, so let's get started then. How do we find the mean e of x? Well, from my earlier tutorial, I showed you that the mean e of x was equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x f of x with respect to x. Now, minus infinity to infinity depends on the probability density function that you've got. And in this particular case, minus infinity, this lower limit here, corresponds to the 1. And infinity, the upper limit, is the 3. So we can change this from 1 to 3. And then we've got x f of x dx. So we need to fill this in. So what we have is the integral from 1 to 3 then of x multiplied by f of x. Now that would be 3 quarters 1 minus x x minus 3. I'm going to put the 3 quarters out the front of the integral just to save the clutter. It's a constant so it can go out the front. And then we've got 1 minus x x minus 3 and that's integrated with respect to x. So what I need to do now is just expand the brackets. So we've got the integral from 1 to 3. So I'll leave the x there and expand out the brackets here. And what I get is x minus 3 minus x squared plus 3x. And that's integrated with respect to x. Next, we'll just expand the bracket out again. There, we've got 1 to 3. Let's expand through by x and group up at the same time. What we've got is x squared. And then I notice that we've got a 3x squared down there, so that's going to be 4x squared. And then minus 3x. And then minus x cubed. So that's with respect to x. Okay, so let's integrate this now. So we've got the integral of 4x squared is 4x cubed over 3. And then the integral of minus 3x is minus 3x squared over 2. And the integral of minus x cubed becomes x to the 4 over 4. And that's between 1 and 3. So we just put in our values. Put in the 3 first and you should find that you get 36 for that one. And then for this one you get minus 27 over 2. And then minus 81 over 4. Let's put that in brackets there. And then we subtract what we get when we put the 1 through. And so you'll get 4 thirds minus 3 over 2. And then for the last term, minus a quarter. All right. Get on the calculator, work that out, and you should find you get 2. Now, what I've done here is, I didn't say at the time, but this is quite a lot of work for this particular example, finding the mean E of x. Normally you would do something like this. You would follow through the formula. That is the integral of x, f of x, from minus infinity to infinity, the lower limit of f of x to the upper limit of f of x. But what I'd always suggest you do is draw a sketch of the probability density function, because you could save yourself a lot of time. 
Let's just show you. If we had the probability density function, right, we draw the axis there. We're going between 1 and 3, so put 1 and 3 down here. And then it's 0 outside the interval 1 to 3, so draw that like that. And this is a negative quadratic, so that would be an upside down U shape, so it would be something like this. And you can see that when X is 1 and when X is 3, it cuts the X axis. So you've got a parabola, something like this. Now, when you get a probability density function which is symmetrical, then the mean is always in the middle. So if we had drawn the probability density function first of all, we could have seen that the mean would have been straight down the middle at 2. So it saved us all this work. But nonetheless I did that just to show you how you can work out E of X. Right, next I want to show you how we find the variance of X. Now hopefully you remember that the variance of X is always E of X squared minus E of X all squared. So first of all, we need to work out what e of x squared is. So let's just put that down here, e of x squared. e of x squared, remember, is to integrate from minus infinity to infinity of x squared times the probability density function f of x with respect to x. But for us, in this example, minus infinity becomes the lower limit of f of x, which is 1, and infinity becomes the upper limit, which will be 3 here. All I need to do now is just simply put in f of x, so we've got 3 quarters, the integral from 1 to 3 of x squared, multiplied by f of x. Now f of x we saw when simplified when you expand the brackets out, became 4x minus x squared minus 3, and we're integrating that with respect to x. Now we expand the bracket out, and we're going to have 3 quarters multiplied by the integral from 1 to 3 of 4x cubed, so 4x cubed, then minus x to the power 4, and minus 3x squared, integrate with respect to x. So if we integrate that, what we're going to have is for the first term x to the power 4, then minus x to the power 5 over 5, and then for the last term minus x cubed, and that's between 1 and 3. Now I'm going to leave it up to you to put the limits through, let x be 3, and then subtract what you get when x is 1. But if you do that and times the result by 3 quarters, check it out on your calculator, but what you get is 21 fifths, 21 over 5. Now, when it comes to the variance then, the variance of x, as I mentioned earlier, it was e of x squared minus e of x all squared. Well, we've got the results now because e of x squared is 21 fifths, so we can pop that in there, and we've got minus the mean e of x all squared. e of x was 2, so we've got minus 2 squared. 21 fifths then, minus 4, comes down to 1 fifth. So we've got the variance then as being 1 fifth. So, there you go. That brings us to the end of this example.